Opinion published 1205 the 7th of June 2018 updated 1205 the 7th of June 2018 Nelson Oliveira made his feelings clear towards Daniel Fark after being left out at Fulham Picture Paul Chesterton Focus Images Limited Copyright Focus Images Limited www.focus-images.co.uk 447814482222 more glimpses of promise but limited end product Another case of what might have been for Nelson Oliveira in Norwich City last season. Paddy David assesses what next, in the latest of our report cards. Nelson Oliveira spurned a big-headed chance at Sheffield Wednesday on the final day picture, Paul Chesterton, focus images Nelson Oliveira is in danger of being remembered as an enigma when he finally hangs up the boots. How can a player good enough to be called into Portugal's international squad at the start of this past season ended with one goal in 22 Norwich City games? Given that came at Wolves, when John Ruddy padded his speculative long-range effort into the net for a stoppage time equaliser, the barren spell could have been even more marked. Alvera seemingly possesses all the right physical attributes, allied to the grace, poise and technical ability to operate in a higher league than the championship and, dare we utter it, for a more heralded club than the Canaries right now. Yet few City fans would mourn his departure if noise is coming out of Portugal at the end of the season transpire into a Caro Road transfer exit. Plenty more may have wished the club cashed in when there was reported interest from the likes of Swansea City 12 months previous. Oliveira's work rate was never in question during the Longfellow period's last season. His temperament sadly was. A strike at Wolves was Nelson Oliveira's only goal in the second half of the season picture, Paul Chesterton, Focus Images Limited right back to that opening weekend, spec with a new head coach at Fulham that appeared to set the tone for his campaign in green and yellow. Frustration at not starting in favor of Cameron Jerome was entirely understandable. Maybe even on one level a positive signal of the self-belief that he should have been City's attacking spearhead at Craven Cottage. It certainly had the desired effect in a high-octane cameo that brought a late equalizer before an explosive, incendiary celebration firmly directed at Daniel Fark. More, have your say on our Pinkin forum the German definitely diffused this first public challenge to his authority with a measured, stirring piece of oratory a few days later, after Oliveira had been left out for the League Cup win over Swindon Town. Only the name on the front of the shirt, not the back mattered to Fark and those who follow. Oliveira was brought back into the fold but the battle lines were drawn. Extended periods of injury, and a return to his homeland in search of fitness, punctuated spells when he could never quite recapture that initial prolific burst of four goals in six games for club, plus a World Cup qualifying strike for Portugal, in a 5-1 romp over the Faroe Islands. That would be as close as the 26-year-old would come to joining Cristiano Ronaldo in Russia this month. Another flashpoint erupted prior to Norwich's home league game against Nottingham Forest in early March. Fark questioned Oliveira's sluggish attitude in training and his professionalism. That were just as damning barbs as a gold route that led to the raw Dennis Serbeni's late season audition for the sole striker role. Fark made it clear he wants Stuart Weber to deliver fresh firepower during this summer transfer window. Oliveira Sale may well facilitate that quest to evolve the squad at the top end of the pitch. Then the precocious front man will be someone else's problem. But should divorce come to pass there will still be a nagging sense of regret that Fark, or even Alex Neal before him, was unable to extract a rich seam of talent at their disposal. For the latest Norwich City news and opinion follow group football editor Patty David on the following channels, Patty David on Twitter at Patty David, Patty David on Instagram at PJ underscore David, Patty David on Periscope at Patty David.